And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Augustinia, which was a request from Murdoch Forever 99 via YouTube. So thanks. It was a sauropod that lived in the Cretaceous in what is now Argentina, and it was found in the Lohankura Formation. There's only one species, Augustinia ligabuei. It was named in honor of Augustine Martinelli, who discovered the fossils in 1996 and 1997, and it was named in 1998 by Jose Bonaparte in an abstract. Originally, it was named Augustia, but that was actually already the name of a beetle, so Bonaparte changed the name in a full paper that was published in 1999 to Augustinia. The species name was in honor of Dr. Giancarlo Ligabue, a philanthropist who helped finance the expedition to excavate Augustinia. There's not much that's been described of Augustinia yet, but it was herbivorous. Only fragments have been found that includes vertebrae from the back, hips and tail, and parts of the lower hind limbs. They also found a femur, but it was too fragmented to collect. It was originally thought to have had osteoderms that were supposedly these wide vertical spikes and plates on the back, kind of like stegosaurus, but then later studies found that they were probably fragments of the ribs and hip bones. Hmm. And study of the tissues found that they did not have the same internal structure of other titanosaur osteoderms. A lower leg bone was found that was about 35 inches or 89 centimeters long, and comparing that bone to the same bone in other related dinosaurs led to estimates that Augustinia was about 49 feet or 15 meters long. Just a little guy. Yeah, but since only incomplete fragments have been found, it's hard to know much else about what this dinosaur looked like, and because it didn't appear to have any distinctive armor, there's some scientists who think that it's a nomum dubium. And it's hard to classify Augustinia because of the fragments, but it does have features of diplodocoids and titanosaurs. Gotta find more fossils. Always. 